Hi students! I thought I would make a video of today's class since a few of you missed out. And I also think it's important for you to review this video a couple of times between now and September. Today was the last day of the class until we meet again, and I thought this might be helpful. So the first thing you need to do is get a pen and a piece of paper and then number one to seven and then number again one to thirteen. The 1 to 7 is for people. Part of the test is knowing the names of many of the people. We had six men and one woman. And I would like you to write down the names of the seven people we studied in chapters 1 through 5. Try to do this from memory. Now, if you need help, go to the next slide. We'll go to the next slide. And here are the initials of the people we have studied. CC, this is their first and last name. First name starts with C, the, second, the last name starts with C. And on down the list, press pause here, or if you want to have got all the names you can think of, then go to the next, we'll go to the next slide. So here we have Christopher Columbus. He was famous for um, discovering America. George Washington was the father of our country and also the first president. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin was a U.S. diplomat and founder of the f public libraries, the free public libraries. Alexander Hamilton was one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president during the Civil War, and he also freed the slaves. Susan B. Anthony fought for women's rights. So take time to really learn these names and learn how to spell them. The next thing we're going to do is I want you to number 1 to 14 and you will notice that these are all places and bodies of water that we have studied. Think about the map, think about the um, the different the different countries that border our country, think about the states, think about the water, the oceans, and the rivers. And I have given you some uh, initials to start with to help you to jog your memory, but I wanna see what you can do. Now press pause, because the next slide will have the answers. Here are the answers. Pacific Ocean is on the west coast of the United States. Atlantic Ocean, is on the east side of the United States. The Mississippi River is the longest river. New York is where the first capital was, and it is also where the Statue of Liberty is. And it is also one of the 13 original colonies. Maryland is another one of the 13 original colonies, and so is Virginia. Guam, is a U.S. territory that is still a territory today. Louisiana is a territory that was bought in 1803 from the French. Washington, D.C. is the nation's capital. Canada sits on our border to the north. Mexico sits on our border to the south. California is on the border of Mexico, it's a state. Alaska is on the border of Canada, and it's the largest state. And Annapolis is the capital of your state, Maryland. I hope this helps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at statements and ask ourselves, is it yes or is it no? Okay, so we have, feel free to pause at any point, but basically there are five of these slides and you're just answering yes or no, and then you will um, 
we will go over the answers. So number one, Canada is south of the United States, yes or no? Number two, Guam is a U.S. state, yes or no? Three, Susan B. Anthony fought for women's rights, yes or no? Four, the flag has 48 stars, yes or no? Five, Annapolis is the capital of the United States, yes or no? Six, the Europeans were the first people to live in America. Now press the pause button and go back through and write yes or no next to each one. Now let's go over the answers. Canada is south of the United States. No, Canada is north of the United States. Guam is a U.S. state. No, Guam is a territory. Number three, Susan B. Anthony fought for women's rights. Yes, she did. Four, the flag has 48 stars. No, the flag has 50 stars. Five, Annapolis is the capital of the United States. No, Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States. Annapolis is the, cap the state capital of Maryland. Six, the Europeans were the first people to live in America. No, the American Indians or Native Americans were here first. Yes or no? Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. New York is on the border of Mexico. The Atlantic Ocean is on the West Coast. Columbus Day is in November. There are 13 stripes on the flag. Many Europeans came to America for freedom. Thomas Jefferson started the free libraries. Again, press pause and then answer. Okay, here we go. Number one, New York is on the border of Mexico. No, California is on the border of Mexico. The Atlantic Ocean is on the West Coast. No, the Atlantic Ocean is on the East Coast. Columbus Day is in November. No, Columbus Day is in October. There are 13 stripes on the flag. Yes, 13 stripes for 13 original colonies. Number five, many Europeans came to America for freedom. Yes, they did. Number six, Thomas Jefferson started the free libraries. No, that was Benjamin Franklin. Yes or no, slide three. Number one, the colonists fought the British because of low taxes. Yes or no? Louisiana Territory was bought from the British. Yes or no? The South wanted to free their slaves. Yes or no? The United States is a democracy. Alaska is the smallest state. The Constitution was written in Washington, D.C. Okay, press pause. And now let's go over the answers. The colonists fought the British because of low taxes? No, because of high taxes. Louisiana Territory was bought from the British? No, it was bought from the French. The South wanted to free their slaves? Yes. The United States is a democracy? Yes. Alaska is the smallest state? No, Alaska is the largest state. The Constitution was written in Washington, D.C.? No, the Constitution was written at the Constitutional Convention. Yes or no? 
Africans were sold into slavery in the U.S.? Yes. Oops, I shouldn't have answered. Oh, well. George Washington freed the slaves. The Declaration of Independence was written in 1876. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Alexander Hamilton helped write the Federalist Papers. Benjamin Franklin is on the dollar bill. Okay, now I'll give you the answers. Africans were sold into slavery in the U.S.? Yes. George Washington freed the slaves? No, Abraham Lincoln did. The Declaration of Independence was written in 1876? No, the Declaration of Independence was written in 1776. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land? Yes. Alexander Hamilton helped write the Federalist Papers? Yes. Benjamin Franklin is on the dollar bill? No, he is on the hundred dollar bill. Okay, we have one more. Yes or no? Independence Day is in June. Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves. The Constitution sets up the government. The Mississippi River is one of the longest rivers. The U.S. economic system is a market economy. The problem of slavery led to the Civil War. Number one. Independence Day is in June. Yes or no? No, it's in July. The Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves? Yes. The Constitution sets up the government? Yes. The Mississippi River is one of the longest U.S. rivers? Yes. The U.S. economic system is a market economy? Yes. The problem of slavery led to the Civil War? Yes. I hope this helps, and I hope you will keep practicing, and we will see you in September. Have a good day.